अस्ति उत्तर दिशिदेवता हिमालयो नाम नगाधिराज पूर्वापर तोय निधि वगाह्य स्थित पृथिव्या मानदंड फिनिश्ड द थर्ड श्लोक ऐ जीवन जीवितनाथ जीवसी इति अभिदाय उत्तिथया तया पुरा ददृशे पुषाकृति क्षित हर कोपानल भस्म केवल रति immediately as soon as the incident happens that is when manmatha is burnt uh, she immediately falls unconscious that uh, murcha is like a uh, welcome thing for her because she it immediately uh, makes her um, shuts her off from the emotions that she could feel because of the death of her husband here and now she it seems as if reality or vidhi wants to wake her up and make her realize the situation here sometimes we have to uh, um, you know shake someone and tell them that no this is you are in some dream world you have to wake up and come back to reality you know that's how she was suddenly woken up and the moment she wakes up she sees her the form of her husband there uh, as soon as the fire had gone probably he fell down and the entire bhasma is has had taken the shape of manmatha itself so purusha aakriti harakopa anala bhasma dadrishe she just saw that but she when she saw that form she immediately asked if he was alive he jeevita natha one who is the natha who is the uh, lord for my uh, life are you living then immediately it shows how she must have gone to the last stage of her life at that point right so abhidaya uttita yataya pura as she woke up she said are you alive and uh, but she only saw the bhasma kriti in front of her and she further goes on ath sa punareva vihvala vasudha lingana dhusarastani vilalapa vikirna murdhaja samaduhkam iva kurvati sthalim she immediately she becomes abde velavalattu porthumbo vihvala is something where your helpless you are completely you lo- lose your uh, uh, swavashatvam there is in, uh, none of your limbs are in your control you lose that consciousness also in a way you know you lose touch with everything suddenly you feel you cannot do anything that stage is called vihvala so vihvala asa punaha vasudha alingana dhusarastani uh, her breasts are completely um, uh, dusty because she immediately falls on the ground and uh, she she hugs the ground here vasudha alingana more like she just immediately falls down adathu namak sil samayam undu onnume mudiyillana apdi hona okkaru vandri pulli this is what it is i don't know how to say that in english sometimes mother tongue is much better for these expressions as the moment you you are assaulted by grief you just let go of yourself and you just fall to the ground that's the that's what happened here to rati so vasudha alingana she immediately fell to the ground and dhusara stani so her body became very uh, dhusaram uh, uh, it was very dusty uh, as she fell down on the it's also a vanapradesha so it's naturally there's so much of uh, dirt and mud and everything there down probably she is an epitome of beauty you should understand how she must have taken care of her body and her appearance and everything and she would have been a beauty then for her to just fall down on the ground and become uh, very dusty all over it's a, a complete contrast to her the uh, the the idea or the conception of rati itself the the uh, right the murti of rati itself is of beauty and uh, pure and you know everything that is pristine but then she the contrast that happens here is she is completely uh, overcome by dust here because she falls to the ground vasudha alingana dhusarastani vikirna murdhaja her hair is no longer tied well and all that so she just doesn't know what to do and uh, when you don't know what to do you can immediately uh, pull your hair and also her murdhaja her hair is also just scattered everywhere na sthalim samaduhkam iva kuruvati vilalapa vilalapa she lamented 
she just cried out uh, and she also made the uh, made the bhumi to be in the same state as herself that is samadukham eva kurvati so it's everything around her seemed to uh, uh, share her grief in a way so the entire bhumi uh with her hair spread out it was like the bhumi's hair was spread out like that and the bhumi was also uh, grieving for rati's loss here because that vanasthali had totally adopted madhumasa and it it had uh, started uh, showing the love in the air right it was becoming conducive for spring and suddenly because parmeshwara had destroyed the manmatha bhumi also lost that uh, that love right for a moment it was only afterwards that manmatha was uh, brought back to life when parmeshwara started uh, uh, going with parvati and then he married her when parmeshwara started uh, after he married parvati and uh, then only manmatha came back so it, bhumi also felt that grief uh, uh, that rati was also feeling so sthalim vanasthalim athava bhumim samadukham eva kurvati she made as if this uh, bhumi was also lamenting along with her huh? so i'll go over the vyakhyanam bhasma matra avalokana udbodh udbodhita hmm. karunasya udbodhita a udbodhitasya it a udbodhitasya yes Yeah, this is Udbodhitasya. Uh, okay. So, Bhasma Matra Avalokana Udbodhitasya Karunasya. Karunam was uh, manifested because of just looking, merely looking at that Bhasma. Anubhava Vyabhicharadikam Prapanchayati. Now Anubhava, her Cheshta. she immediately falls down to the ground and then vikirna kesha asit all these are the cheshta that she brings on first is bhasma bhasma is your alambana vibhavam uh, right and then uh, uh, that is uh, that brings on a cheshta in her immediately she falls to the ground vibhari bhava is of course uh, her uh, dukham that she expresses vilalapa vilapaha tu tatra vibhari bhava and the other uh, shlokas also bring out other vibhari bhavas sanchari bhavas hmm. karunasya anubhava vibhari adikam prapanchayati atha sa punaha eva vihvala Hmm. Vihvala, Vilalapa. She again becoming very Vihvala is uh, he explains here. Paravasha iti sati. Swavashe na asit tasya ha angani tasmat paravasha asa. She was completely under the control of grief here. So Vihvala, Vilalapa. Atha priyatamasya atyantik vinasha abagamana anantara. After understanding that her her priyatama, her dearest, her beloved had completely gone. आत्मन शरीर अवयवेशु अभी निर्दयत्व शी डि नाट इवन थिंक अबउट हर बॉडी देर सो वसुधा आलिंगन धूसरस्तनी वसुधाया भूमे आलिंगन बै हगिंग द भूमि धूसर धूसर वर्ण स्तन यर ब्रेस्ट बिकेम वेरी ग्रे इन कलर हिर् बिकॉज शी हेड हग द भूमि हिर् अन एवुत्थिताया परमार्थ अवगमनानंतर अवनत शरीरतया भूमौ पतनम द्योत्यते सो वी अंडरस्टैंड दैट द मोमेंट शी वोक अप वसुधा आलिंगिन धूसर आलिंगन धूसरस्तनी इति पदेनैव अत्र किं ज्ञायते वी अंडरस्टैंड द मोमेंट शी वोक अप शी रियलाइज्ड द सिचुएशन शी अंडरस्टूड द रियलिटी दैट हर हस्बैंड इज नॉट गोइंग टू कम एंड इमीडिएटली शी बोस डाउन एंड फॉल्स ऑन द ग्राउंड it's like a you know the when you remove a creeper from a tree from its support it cannot stand on its own it will just be limp and it will fall to the ground that's how she just fell down 
idam cha glanehe anubhavah glani is your sanchari bhava uh, uh, falling down bhumau patanam eva atra anubhavah so you understand the difference we were reading about it in yadavabhude rasa bhava uh, bhava sar you have alambana vibhava anubhava and sanchari bhava alambana vibhavam is seeing that bhasma bhasmam becomes your alambana vibhavam for karuna rasa the anubhava or the cheshta the actions that she does is falling to the ground what is the bhava that prompts her to do this action actually it is the as she falls down she starts feeling that in her mind also or or sorve uh, a glani is a fading away in the mind also so this glani is on a deeper level than the physical bhumi patanam tu tatra anubhavah which is very physical on the sthula level glani goes further down into the mind anubhavantaram api aha vikirna murdhajah the other chesta that she does is odane uh, she just removes her braid and the, uh, her hair is just uh, scattered everywhere so vikirnaha vikshiptaha murdhajah keshaha itham bhuta vyaparayaha tasyaha utpreksham darshayat so the next last line is an utpreksha alankara here sthalim samadukham kurvati iti sthalim prithvi samadukham samana dukham yasyaha she was making the bhumi in such a manner that she also is experiencing the grief that rati is experiencing she is in the same state as rati nirdayam prithivyam parivartanaadibhi sthalyaha tatha karana utpreksha pasyatam pakshi mriga vanacharaadinam api dukha utpadanat vanasthalim api atma samana dukham kurvana nirdayam prithivyam parivartanaadibih without any compassion that is she did not think about her own body here so she was just rolling on the ground on that hard ground parivartanam parivartanam is rolling here and there you know what do i do and she she is actually lamenting here crying out loud for her loss sthalyaha tatha karana utpreksha so the sthali also is becoming like that in the sense pashyatam pakshi mriga vanacharadina the the birds and animals and other people who are moving around in that forest also when they look at rati they are able to understand the dukham that is going on so it seems as if the entire pradesham here you don't take it just as bhumi but the entire pradesh sympathized with her and felt uh, uh, so much for her right athasa punareva bihvala vasudha lingana dhusarastani vilalapa vikirna murdhaja samadukham eva kurvati sthali okay the money brief can you say about this uh, vyabhichari bhava and uh, anubhava okay alankara uh, no no these are not alankaras okay so ha alankarik terms yes they are technical terms uh, another small alankara shastra 101 okay see when you have uh, think it, it usually people compare alankarikas compare the kavya shariram to a body of a human let's say so the kavya shariram is made out of shabda and artha in the same way the manushya shariram is made of flesh and blood or whatever bones etc etc right so you have the shariram the body of the kavyam and body of a man now beyond that is not enough for the man to be alive and atma and all that it's not there right so you need many other things there to make it more uh, um, functional and attractive it's not a shava what uh, what distinguishes a corpse from a man there is a soul there so people started finding out what is the soul for the kavyam in the same manner if i just have shabda and artha it is not the soul of the kavyam we it's still not pushti enough now you will have to bring in other things for the kavyam okay let's put in uh, ornaments alankaras so let me embellish beautify the shabda let me beautify the artha these are still like shabda alankara and artha alankaras are only ornaments for the outside the body 
you are still only it's like earring nose ring and uh, you know mala kankana adibihi that's all nothing else okay why don't i put in something like shauryaadi gunam see that these ornaments are not going to show the uh, veeram or shauryam daya these qualities are not coming out because of these ornaments so there is something beyond this body in the form of gunas for a person the same way in a kavyam also i may have shabdalankara i may have arthalankaras i may put one upama there everything will be there but beyond that there should be some uh, gunas like madhuryam ojaha see the words itself should uh, give you the meaning should give you uh, the the idea that okay ravana is a great person here and definitely rama who won over ravana uh, should have also been a great hero that is why we talk about him as a hero tatha when you describe ravana itself that veera rasam should come out you know uh, when ravana there is a shloka by ravana when he says nyakkaro hyayameva me yadaraya he says the fact that i have enemies itself is a nyakkara for me it is a dhikkara for me i am a person who cannot have enemies at all tatrapyasau tapasaha see this person is an ascetic who has been in the forest for such a long time and he is a tapasa here how can that person be my enemy iti ravanaha vadati tatra it is a nataka hanuman natakam there he says this shloka here nyakkaro hyayameva me yadarayaha tatrapyasau tapasaha atreva nihanti rakshasakula he has come here to my city and he has killed not one rakshasa but nihanti rakshasa kulam ha <laughs> ah, you know beautiful shloka I'll full la edukre as i explain i will forget the shloka nyakaro hyayameva me yadaraya ha tatrapyasau tapasa ha this shloka is from hanuman natakam um wait wait it's a brilliant shloka nyakaro hyayameva me yadaraya ha tatrapyasau tapasa ha um it's there in kavya prakasham this uh, sahitya darpana talks about everybody will talk about this because they will only talk about the doshas in there so we don't want that but uh, why can't i get that shloka quickly wait wait, wait. nyakaro hyayameva me yadaraya ha tatrapyasau tapasa ha sopi atreva nihanti rakshasakulam after that jeevatya ho ravana so this is a shame for ravana i am you know i am ashamed to say that i am still alive here after all this dikdik chakrajitam he is conquered indra so what is the use of that prabodhitavada kim kumbakarnena what is the use of waking up kumbakarna here the last one he says swarga gramatika viluntana vrithochunaihi kime vir bujaihi this bhuja that i have he has 20 right not one but 20 he has edihi bhujaihi kim kim prayojana matra swarga grama these hands have made the entire swarga into one gramatika a small cook gramam we say you know, very very small gramam not even a big village but it's a, the, the smallest dot that you can find in a map I, he has made the entire heaven as one dot like that because of his uh, bhuja which are now vritha uchunam i have done biceps uh, curls and all that and vritha it is got muscled up here there is no point in this so see you can also see the that that shows the pride that ravana has in his this is an ojo guna yukta shloka hmm. if you want something which is like sweet and nice you need madhuryam which is uh, 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 which reveals the shringara rasam you don't need alankaras you don't need uh, uh, big uh, this thing uh, you know uh, shabda alankaras or artha alankaras anuprasa you don't need all that but there should be a nice gunam in it you know madhuryam which is revealed with both the shabda and the artha hmm. this also is not the soul of the person veeram or all that is still gone when something else is gone in that person that soul or atma is your rasa okay hmm. so now you got what is this rasa now how does this rasa how is this rasa evoked in people 
so i am an audience here i i see the drama or a movie i that rasam cannot just come with one shloka there are yes it can come with one shloka but then what are the components of that rasa how do i break down uh, to understand how this rasa has come about in my mind why am i able to feel what rati is feeling here when i say sa punaha vihvala vasudha alingina alingana dhusarast vilalap vikirna murdaja when i say all these things what is it that is making me understand and feel for her dukham as if i am going through that dukham that can occur because of certain components that bring you to that karuna rasam so the first thing is there should be an object there which will which is capable of bringing that rasam so there is a bhasma which is in the form of manmatha so purusha akriti kopa anala bhasma tatra vartate that is your alambana vibhava which is the support for bringing out the rasam that is the karana in the world in the real world it is the karana in the alankara world you give it a technical name by saying it is the alambana vibhava there should be uddipana vibhavam there see the entire forest is now uh, 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 in the spring mode and during that time rati feels the absence of her priyatama they are the ideal couple you know they uh, rati and manmatha is like the most ideal form of shringara the pinnacle of shringara there so you must imagine the anyonyam that they should have had and the madhumasa would have prompted some feeling in her which means that grief would have doubled for her right so mm. that uh, surroundings is the uddeepana vibhava or kindling effect this mm. is your, this is also one of the karana next is anubhava anubhavas are her falling down on that earth is immediately she shows an action there and that action will evoke some feeling in us which is the karya that alambana vibhavam is there and then you have the karyam because of seeing that bhasma she falls down on the floor which is the anubhava the next is the sanchari bhava which is your upakarakam these are helpful things which will intensify and once it reaches a peak that is when you will also start crying at that point Hmm. now we are still only in the vibhijari bhava stage where she is showing her glani glani is the loss of uh, any activity in her limbs and she is just withering and uh, falling down like a creeper here okay these are this is how you go and then when this uh, becomes a sthayi bhava that sthayi bhava is some samskara in your mind you must have either experienced a loss in your life in this life asvin janmani janmantareva or in an some other life you must have experienced a deep sense of loss which should have been in your mind as a samskara sometimes that is why when you see a movie and they are acting so well uh, without even your consciousness you will you, involuntarily the tears can start coming out of your ears uh, sorry eyes as you see it you don't even realize now there is this uh, uh, um, movie in uh, tamil i don't know if you have that in telugu kannathil muttamittal nodu it's a movie about how uh, you know during the riots in sri lanka uh, how they adopt a child from uh, uh, that and uh, uh, they tell the child about uh, that she is an adopted child and all that so when you see that movie you will naturally be so involved with that movie and as things proceed you will automatically start crying there because your samskara is also udbhutam at that point of time so that is when it reaches the pinnacle of rasa this is only you can never feel rasa in your real life when you have lost somebody you cannot call it as a karuna rasam at all because you are experiencing shoka there shoka is the sthayi bhava that is a bhava emotion that is there in your mind which is permanent it can come up and go down come up and go down when you are feeling it it is only shoka but when it gets translated on screen or in a book like this 
then what you experience there is rasa because there is only enjoyment there you only even if you cry you say it's a touching movie it's a brilliant movie i'll enjoyed it that's the reaction that you come out with okay so here that's what he is saying glanehe anubhavah so glani is your sanchari bhava and bhuma upatanam will be your vibhava sorry anubhava okay glani is the sanchari bhava hmm? is it clear the sai bhava and vibhichari bhava like the second of sai bhava is vibhichari bhava ha huh? sorry no the so, highest thing is the sai bhava yes yes thai bhava is the next I level vyabhichari bhava is just upakaraka thai yes, bhavo yes. rasa smritah thai bhava ha rasa ha smritah only thai bhava is rasa when is it called rasa when does it become rasa that a lot of things should come together okay अथसा विख्वला वसुधालिंगन धूसरस्तनी विललाप विकीर्णमूर्धजा समदुःखामिव कुरुवती स्थलिम उपमानम अभूत विलासिनम हर विलापा स्टार्ट्स उपमानम अभूत विलासिनीम विलासिनाम करणम यत्तव कांतिमत्तया तदिदम गतमीदृशीम दशाम नजदीर्ये कठिनाः खलु स्त्रियः उपमानम अभूत यत् yat karanam the the karanam is your uh, sadhaka tamam karanam no whatever is the most uh, uh, useful thing for manmatha his body was the most useful thing here for uh, all of the vilasi people who um, for kami kamini and ka- kamis wanted to all the people who uh, uh, who are all kamis they looked upon manmatha's body as the sample or an example upamanam standard of comparison for them you know he is like a manmatha he is a sakshat kamaha saha स्त्री बिग काम ऐक्षी पीपल सॉ हिम एज मनमथा इन कॉर्नेट एंड ऑल दैट सो ही इज लाइक अ स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ कंपेरिजन हिज बॉडी वॉज लाइक अ स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ कंपेरिजन फॉर ऑल ऑफ दीज पीपल हु वेर थॉट अपॉन एज कामी विलासी बिकॉज ऑफ वॉट तव कांतिमत्तया बिकॉज ऑफ युअर हैंडसमनेस कांतिमत्ता कांते इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग जस्ट कांति उपमानूत that karanam or that uh, body uh, which was an upamanam which was like a uh, uh, this thing the uh, what is that uh, uh, standard of comparison it was the peak for everybody it was like a sample for whom vilasinam vilasi is a person who has a very charismatic approach who is also always laughing uh, smiling before he talks uh, he gives a definition here dheera sancharana sancharini one who just walks uh, and he also has a, a, a gaze which is very uh, deep uh, you know all your cliched uh, expressions you will have to take in here for a person who is a vilasi vilasi is generally a person who knows that he is handsome and he also puts it to full use so tadrish jananam krite tu tava sharira meva tatra upamanataya abhut asit tadidam now what happened to that idrishin dasham gatam it has become like this now that is it is a basmataya gatam nacha dhirye these are all different different sentences here nacha dhirye is one sentence i have not fallen apart i do not dhirye ityukte i have not become destroyed kadinah kalu striya it is true that women are hard hearted they don't feel for the situation and they don't fall apart same in aja vilapa also you will find such expressions uh, go to the vyakhyanam see surprisingly this person 
both of these people prakasha and vivaranam no narayana pandita and arunagiri the earlier one is arunagiri this one is narayana pandita narayana pandita has both of these people have written vyakhyanam for uh, raghuvamsha and kumarasambhava in raghuvamsha right before ajavilapam is just reading that he says it is difficult for me to do the vyakhyanam for this section uh, and he will just give a concise version idap param nayak dukha pratipadakatvat because it is a section which reveals the dukkham of nayaka dushpramayam it's very difficult for me to understand it seems na asmabihi vyakya kriyate he is not done the vyakya for that entire section of ajavilapa whereas here he is sign doing the vyakyanam for rati vilapa see i think here he must have thought uh, this as a literature and he is able to detach himself from the feelings and right whereas there probably because he is also a person who was deeply in love with his wife and he could not think about all that and so he wanted to skip the whole thing in detail so when you write vyakyanam it is very involved you will have to go into the psyche of what is happening there and try to bring it out that's what that's why we read narayana pandita because he goes quite deep into the uh, psyche of the person here he couldn't do it in ajavilapa but he could do it here very interesting uh, this thing vilapa uh, uh, one yeah. line like i ah. think in sempuramayanam also that kavi say valmika pungava kavire kathora cheta when he describes the vilapa of uh, rama ha ah, okay okay hmm. kathora kathora. Like, valmiki, kathora cheta how we can ah, because he is able to describe it no ah, yeah. <laughs> that's what it is without getting involved vilapa prakarana eva prapanchayati upamanam ityadibi so tava yat karanam kantimattaya vilasinam upamanam abhut tat idam idrishim dasham gatam aham cha nadirye so tava yat karanam shariram karanam is sadhaka tamam akshetra gatra indriyeshu api ityartha so you can also have it have it as a paryaya padam for indriya Uh, karanam is indriyam right to uh, it is a karanam for obtaining gnanam so indriyam is also a karanam here <coughs> kantimattaya kantihi asti asmin iti kantimat atishayane matup tasya bhavah tatta tat it's the same thing kantimatta means kantihi ityeva vilasinam who is a vilasa what is a vilasa dhira sancharini drishti गति गो वृषभांचिता स्मृतपूर्व अथ आलाप विलास कीर्ति दृष्टि देर इज अ गंभीर दृष्टि धीर संचारिणी दृष्टि एज ही इज लुकिंग एट थिंग्स ही इज लुकिंग एट थिंग्स विद अ डीप गेज इट्स नॉट लाइक अ फ्लीटिंग ग्लांस दट ही हेज यूजली ही टेक्स हिस टाइम एंड एनालाइज एव्रीथिंग एंड इट्स लाइक अ पेनेट्रेटिंग गेज गति गो वृषभ अंचिता <coughs> his walk also has the walk of a person who is uh, uh, um you know aish karna you know somebody who is who is very easy going and he walks with a, a gait that is very similar to uh, animals in the sense he uh, roams around like that smita purva alapaha he also smiles before he starts talking this is called vilasa these actions are called vilasa tadvatam purushanam so people who have this vilasa are called vilasi upamiyate anena iti upamanam prasiddha sadharmyam vastu a vastu which is famous and people take it as the standard of comparison for comparing with the, the context regular objects so kamasya shariram iva अस्य शरीरम चारुतरम इत्यादि वचनेशु इति भावः व्हेन वी ट्राई टू डिस्क्राइब पीपल्स बॉडी और एनीथिंग अस्य शरीरम तु काम शरीरम इव चारुतरम वर्तते इति तत्र उपमानतया यद् गृह्यते तत्तु अत्र कीदृश दशां प्राप्तः राइट सो तदिदं शरीरम ईदृशीं दशां अवस्थां प्राप्तं बस्मसाद् भावम् इत्यर्थः प्राप्तमासीत् 
ಹತ್ತು ಶಬ್ದ ಅರ್ಥೆ ಚಕಾರ ಬೀರ್ಯ ಇದು ಕರ್ಮಕರ್ತರಿ ಪ್ರಯೋಗ ಅಹಂತು ನ ದೀರ್ಯ ವಿಧಾರಣ ನ ಗಚ್ಚಾಮಿ ನಾಯೇ ಒಡಂಜ ಬೋಹಲ ಗ್ರ ಅದ ಕರ್ಮಕರ್ತ ಅನ್ನ ಕೋ ದ ಕರ್ಮ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕರ್ತ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ಟಫ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಮಾಲಾ ಭಿನ್ ಭಿನಕ್ತಿ ಆರ್ ವಿಕಿರತಿ ಮುಕ್ತ ವಿಕಿರಂತಿ ವೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಸಮ್ಮನ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ಸ್ ದ ಮಾಲಾ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಪರ್ಲ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಪರ್ಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಡ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸಮ್ಮನ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಡ್ ದ ಪರ್ಲ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ದೇ ಡೂ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಚೇತನತ್ವಂ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಾ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಅದರ್ ಕಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೊ ದ ಕರ್ಮ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ದ ಕರ್ತ ಹಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಕರಣ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯೂಜ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕರ್ಮಕರ್ತ ಅಹಂ ತು ನೀರ್ಯ ತು ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಂಡ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಸೇ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ವೆರಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಾಲನ್ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಆಂಡ್ ಐ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬ್ರೋಕನ್ ಡೌನ್ ವಿತ್ ಗ್ರೀಫ್ ತತಃ ಏವ ಶಂಕೆ ಸೊ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡೌಟ್ ಸ್ತ್ರೀಯ ಕಠಿಣ ಖಲು ಶ್ರೀ ಹರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಕ್ಲಾನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಖಲು ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸ ರೈಟ್ ಇಸಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಸೊ ನಿಷೇಧ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಅಲಂಕಾರ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸ ಅನುನಯೆ ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ತ್ವತ್ ಕಠಿಣತೆ ಮಮ ವಿದೀರ್ಣಾಭಾವೆ ಹೇತು ಇದು ಭಾವ ನಿಷೇಧ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಅಲಂಕಾರ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸ ಅನುನಯೆ ಹ್ಮ್ ಓಕೆ ನಿಷೇಧ ವಾಕ್ಯಂ ತು ಅತ್ರ ನ ದೀರ್ಯ ಇದು ವಾಕ್ಯಂ ನಿಷೇಧ ವಾಕ್ಯ ತಸ್ಯ ಅಲಂಕಾರತ್ವೇನ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸ ವರ್ತತೆ ಕಿಮರ್ಥಂ ಏವಂ ಅಭೂತ್ ಇದು ಯಾ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸ ವರ್ತತೆ ತಸ್ಯ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸ ಅನುನಯೆ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಜಸ್ಟಿಫೈ ಸಮರ್ಥನ ಜಸ್ಟಿಫೈ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಅನ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಟು ಹರ್ ಓನ್ ನಿಷೇಧ ವಾಕ್ಯಂ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ವಾಟ್ ಶಿ ಸೆ ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ತ್ವತ್ ಕಠಿಣತೆಯೇವ ಮಮ ವಿಧಾರಣ ಅಭಾವೇ ಹೇತು ಸೊ ವೈ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಐ ನಾಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ರೋಕನ್ ಡೌನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಎ ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ಸ್ತ್ರೀಯ ತು ಸ್ವಭಾವತೆಯ ಕಠಿಣ ಏವ ವರ್ತಂತೆ ತತ್ರ ಅಯಮೇವ ಹೇತು ಇದು ಶ್ರೀ ಕಂಕ್ಲೂಡ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಅನೇನ ವಾಕ್ಯನ ಆತ್ಮ ನಿರ್ವೇದ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅದರ್ ವ್ಯಭಿಚಾರಿ ಭಾವ ಉನ್ಮಾದ ತು ಅಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಪ್ರಕರಣೆ ಪ್ರಾಯೇನ ದ್ರಷ್ಟವ್ಯ probably there is also a little bit of craziness here because she has a logic here which is why and all that you know his body is gone i am not uh, uh, falling apart so probably women are very uh, hard hearted she herself is trying to go uh, uh, and talk about a nonsensical logic also in a way it doesn't make sense but at the same time she is very dejected and that dejection nirvedah is your sanchari bhava here okay atra bhagne sanchari bhava vyabhichari bhava same name same name same no difference hmm? some alankarikas call it as sanchari bhava because sancharate it it roams near uh, uh, the sthayi bhava iti karanat Uh, vyabhichari bhava is also the same you know uh, vyabhi vi abhi charate it is it is taking you closer abhimukam nayati iti it is taking you closer towards the uh, rasa anubhuti that is why it is called vyabhichari or sanchari mm-hmm. upamanam abhut vilasinam karanam yet tava kantimattaya tadidam gatam idrishim dasham nacha dirye katinah kalu striyah okay stop with this